Former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's three-year sentence for graft prompted scattered rallies around the country, but there was no sign of any mass uprising on Sunday, August 6, despite his call for supporters to protest. His imprisonment has raised fresh concerns of violence ahead of an election due later this year, that he is now disqualified from contesting and has cast doubt on the fairness of any vote that excludes him. His lawyers complained on Sunday they were being denied access to him for consultations so they can mount urgent legal challenges against his conviction. They also raised concern for his confinement at a top jail. Established 100 years ago, on the outskirts of historical Atok City, about 60 kilometers west of the capital Islamabad. He is a 70-year-old man and a former elected prime minister, so legally, he should be given a better class of conditions inside the jail. Said Goher Khan, a member of his legal team. Officials from his Pakistan Tariqin Saf PTI party said about 50 supporters had been detained overnight as police moved swiftly against protests after Khan was arrested and whisked to jail. At a court hearing that Khan did not attend on Saturday, a judge found him guilty of graft in relation to gifts he received while he was prime minister and sentenced him to three years in jail. Anyone convicted of a criminal offence is disqualified from contesting elections in Pakistan, and Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif said on Sunday that Parliament would likely be dissolved on Wednesday, days ahead of the end of its natural term. I will dissolve my government and the National Assembly on August 9. The rest is in the hands of Allah the Almighty, he told a rally in Punjab province. After that an interim government will take over and elections will be held. This would give the incoming interim government until mid-November to hold an election, but there is already speculation it could be delayed following the release on Saturday of the country's latest census data. Law Minister Azam Nazir Tara told a local television channel that constituencies would have to be redrawn according to the new census warning there could be a delay to polls of up to two and a half months.